remember camcorders? They were like these things right here. They had a screen you could flip out. You usually twist them, go like that. You usually hold them like this. They're relics of the 2000s. And if you haven't heard of them, get off this video because today we're gonna be taking a look at the probably the worst camcorder I've ever seen. This thing. So this is the Vivitar Digital Camcorder 558 HD. And I bought it from the store for 20 bucks. It was kind of expensive, but it doesn't matter anymore. Um, this an interesting thing is that this was used at the Thomas Jefferson University Nursing Department, and it does have some personal details on the front tag here. So, um, it's bad. But it records in 720p, and guess what, guys? It's it's YouTube ready, so I can use this for my YouTube videos, guys. It's on my new camera. But, um, so, my Vivitar, we make it easy. Um, it is 5.1 megapixels. It's 720p, for digital zoom. No physical zoom, like, um, on this Panasonic here. Um, the Vivitar experience can be able to... Facebook, Twitter, or YouTube. Resolution is 1944p, so let's just unbox it and cover that. Nobody wants to see that. Let's open this up, this box. So in here we've got the camcorder itself, AV cable, and the charging cable, I'm assuming. What is this USB standard? It's like... Wait, what is this standard? This is like... It looks like mini USB, but it isn't mini USB at the same time. If anyone could tell me what the comment that is. The AV cable also uses the same weird standard, so... I don't know what it is. So, I'm assuming that's everything in the box. Oh, we still got more. Yeah, the system requirements. You can tell how old this is because the recommended system is Windows 7, Vista, Respect 1, or XP. Um, we got troubleshooting. So we got. Please do not return to store if you have any problem with this camera. Okay, um, I wasn't gonna return it anyways. It's the warranty. It's a roadmap style. And then we got the. DVD for the Experience Image Manager. I do have a CD player, but I am not going to put it in my computer. Let's just put all of this junk back in the box. We're going to close this box up. And then we're going to throw on the floor. So here's the camera itself. It is pretty light, it has this plastic built to it. The camera, there's no lens cover, and it just looks like a typical pinhole camera. Got USB and AV out, and here's the port for that weird standard, if you guys can see. My camera will focus. But there's that weird standard. Don't know what that is. So, um, there's the recording button, here's your zoom, that's it, I'm assuming this is the battery department, like this. So, is this a rechargeable? Oh, oh god, it's one of these cameras that takes triple A's. Well, conveniently I do have some triple A's on hand, from like, another, so we're gonna just put those in real quick. There you go, we got the batteries in, just slide it back into the camera. And then we're gonna get an SD card. I've used this SD card before, so there's gonna be some stuff on here, but let's just power it on. Vivitar, we make it easy. Oh god, god I don't even wanna know what this camera quality is like. Alright, let's see, let's see the camera quality. 
So we're gonna use this bottle as a reference. Yeah, it makes this noise every time you click a button. So let's take a photo of this bottle. Good quality. So let's poke around the settings. Let's poke around the settings of this. So if we go to video here. Oh yeah, by the way, it does have a touch screen, so it's pretty bad touch screen at the same time. So, so I have to go to the menu, do I have to click it? So, resolution. So, as it's on the box, it can go up to 720p. But I'm keeping at 480. I will, I will put the 720p footage in this video, though. So, this has this flash button. It's just a flash that turns on and off. You can see. And it's not really else. Uh, yeah, this touch screen is horrible. I don't even know why they made it scroll. It's got color sharpness, exposure, ISO, and metering. And you got the scene resolution quality, viewing. I think that's like the, the sharing thing that was on the box. So we're gonna take a little test video, and we're gonna I'm gonna put the footage in this video so I can show you guys. Hey guys, this is the footage from the Vivi Link, not the Vivi Link, the Vivitar 558 HD. That's the box right there. And here's the camcorder that was shown on the beginning footage. Here it is. It looks pretty laggy from the from the preview I see on the screen, but you guys can judge. Alright, we got the test footage recorded. Um, what else to do now? Um, so here's, I'm gonna take another photo here on my computer. So there's not really anything else to say, but the camera quality is pretty awful. Especially for something mini 2013, but to be fair, this was probably made as a cheap camera. By the way, it doesn't have auto off. You have to shut it off manually. Oh yeah, here's that startup sound. It's only a little bit annoying, guys. But I think that's pretty much it for this camcorder. Yeah, it also says this on the front. High definition, 2.4 inch full touchscreen, and four times digital zoom. Here's the playback menu. You can make it scroll. And that's pretty much it for this camera. Let's go into the sub uh, menu real quick, show you. So I got language, auto off, frequency. Oh. Oh, frequency TV out format and default. So yeah, this is probably the camcorder with the worst quality I've ever seen, also the laggiest quality I've ever seen, and it's pretty much it. It's just a subpar camera made in 2013 for a budget audience. But it is good if you're trying to capture some like retro footage for TikTok or something. And I think that's pretty much the only thing you can use for it nowadays. Camera quality is very awful. 5 more megapixels is not gonna cut it. But yeah, it's a pretty cool little camera if you're just looking for like an old camcorder or some like vintage footage. So I think that's it for today, guys.